Hello there, and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up SDL2. I'm going to show you the complete guide to set up SDL2, and maybe this will become a tutorial series, and maybe we'll make a cool game with SDL2. Now we're going to be using C++, as C++ is cool. Let's just get right into the video. So firstly, let's go ahead and install SDL2. Uh, I, sh I think you guys should probably already have a C++ compiler. If you don't, I guess uh, the best options would be MinGW, and that's basically the best option. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you're just going to go to libsdl.org, and this is the official website to get, you know, SDL. Uh, a few games, like Dead Cells and Thimbleweed Park, like these games are really good. I never played this game, but this game is really good. Uh, these games have been made in SDL too, so this is really cool. And a cool thing is there's a dark theme to the website, which I think is really cool. And let's get SDL and stop blabbering. So I'm going to click this, and that should install SDL for us. Oh, no. It just takes us to the download page. Anyways, let's go ahead and install uh, SDL. Now, I'm going to be installing the one for MGW one, which supports MGW. Uh, you guys can get whichever one you want, I don't really care, but if you're going with MGW, as I said, go with this one. It's the best. Alright, save the file. Alright, so I'm gonna just save my downloads, as you can tell. This is all, like, turned off. I don't want you guys to see my downloads, of course. I'm just gonna save that there, and it looks like I already have it. Let's just replace it. And this is going to take some time to download. That's All right, while that's downloading, as you can tell, it's taking forever. Let's go ahead and install SDL image. Now, SDL image is just going to make it a lot easier to render images on the screen. Um, if we don't use SDL image, we're going to have to use some OpenGL code. And I just don't want to do that. So whenever you're coding, you always want to go the easy way. You don't want to do everything the hard way. I mean, if you have to, if you want to do the hard way, you're kind of weird, man. But huge respect to you. But we're not gonna use SDL. I mean, we're not gonna use OpenGL for anything. So let's go ahead and just search up SDL image. And by the way, all the links that I am talking about or will be in the description box below. Alright, so this is the link. As you can see here, it's also SDL. Let's go ahead and install it. Uh, we're going to go with MinGW. This is the MinGW one. Click it. So let's go ahead and install our code editor, uh, which is going to be Visual Studio Code. So VS Code. Search that bad boy up. And luckily, I already downloaded it. So I already have the EXE with me, but I'm just going to show you the way to install VS Code. And yeah, let's do it. So I'll leave the link in the description as usual. Click on the link. Wait for another year. And boom. All right, so go ahead and choose your operating system. It's actually available for all, even though it was made by, by Microsoft. All right, I'm Windows, so just click Windows. Whatever you are, go ahead and do it. Now there's going to be different steps for each operating system because each operating system is a hassle. Click save file and as you can see I already have it here and I already have a lot of stuff so uh, anyways this is just save it alright I'm just going to click cancel cool. Alright come on dude alright this is done this isn't five four a few seconds okay cool. Alright, so it's almost done. Alright, so these are the three files you should have. Um, if you don't have them, go get them. Uh, <laughs> all the links will be in the description, by the way, so that's totally cool. Let's go ahead and install VS Code first, because that's the easiest. And the largest file in all three of these. So, let's open it, double-click it. You'll get this setup window. Let's close that so we can focus on this. Now... I accept the agreement. If you want to read it, go ahead. Waste your time. Uh, this stuff. So you're going to want to check the ones that I have checked. So open with code. These two. And add to path. They're just really cool. And I think they're cool features. If you want a desktop icon, I guess go for it. Um, so just check these three ones. They're really important. 
again click next and install as I said I already have VS code so I ain't gonna but it should install so now that we have VS code let's go ahead and do these boys so firstly let's grab SDL extract that boy with WinRAR or 7-zip whatever you use and in here you should have a folder a bunch of folders alright by the way this is MinGW only so you should get MinGW stuff now let's go ahead and open up this this x86 underscore 64 dash w 60 <laughs> that stuff that is 64 bit this is 32 bit so if you want to make 64 bit games then you're going to go with this if you want to make 32 bit you go with that alright so in here you're going to grab these these are important now in here there's lib these are important um there's bin and this is also important um, and then there's include and include there's SDL2 and in there we have all these header files which are really important uh, because these are all the this is all the, the each individual file is like uh, a bone for SDL and it's glued by duct tape right so these are the things you want now let's go ahead and get out of here we're not done yet now let's go ahead and extract a, uh, SDL image and that's going to open this up and in here as I said x86 you're going to get these now what you're going to do is you're going to cut these out you're going to go back into your SDL wherever uh, and here you're going to paste them and they're going to move it and now if you go to include you're going to get a whole lot of more files just a lot more files and also in your bin you're gonna get all these DLLs recently I mean before we cut and pasted we only had SDL2.DLLs now we have SDL2.Image.DLL so now we know that it worked and these are gonna be our building blocks so all we're gonna need actually is the DLLs and basically the include path so now we have the building blocks to create a thingy. A <laughs> thingy. All right, let's go ahead and create a new folder, and this is where this is just gonna be a project folder. So I'm gonna call it project. All right, so this is our project folder. I'm gonna open it up, and if you check those three check boxes that we talked about earlier, you should have this option when you right click your explorer. If you don't, well, you screwed up, bro. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can easily add it once if you reinstall VS Code. Uh, so click that, that's going to open it up in Visual Studio Code, uh, like so, and now we're pretty much cool. Alright, we have that in VS Code opened up, and that's going to do its thing. Now, let's go back to here, why did I go to desktop? Now let's go to SDL, you can actually delete the SDL image folder because there's nothing in there, and in here, you're going to go back here, and <laughs> back in here, and in your include folder you're just going to copy all these now if you want to redo this process over and over for each SDL project then you can cut them alright I fixed it so now that I haven't screwed up let's reopen this in VS Code well what a hassle guys I'm sorry I just am a screw up okay let's go back to what we're doing in our include folder this is pretty much it's better to do it if you have two file explorers opened uh, so let's go back to the desktop um, here and let's go to let's just put this side by side here hold on some whoops some windows magic here okay there we go now we have this we'll talk about VS code later um, so in SDL2 just go here uh, remember this create a new folder here call it include yeah, call it include. And inside the include folder, create a new folder. Call it um, SDL. This is where you're going to store your SDL, you know, files and stuff, your header files. So you're going to copy these and paste them here. Now that's done. And you can see here there's an SDL.h, and this is what we're going to be using. Okay, so that's very important. Make sure you have that. All right, we're done with the include stuff. Now let's create a new, actually no, not include, actually, yeah, include, wait, what, what am I saying, why are there two include files, what the hell, 
Alright, I'm gonna cut this and delete this and paste it. Alright, so we're good. I messed up again. Okay, so let's create a new folder inside the include folder. And this is gonna be called headers. And this is just where you're gonna store your headers which are not included with SDL. So it's gonna be way easier and that's cool. Alright, next let's go ahead and grab our lib folder. And you can basically just copy this and paste it real easy. Do that. Alright, we're done with the lib. Now in the bin folder, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab all the DLLs. Just the DLLs, not the TXT files. Whoops, I should not have done that. And just click the DLLs. Alright. Copy them and paste them in your main directory. Like so. This is important because uh, if you want to run your main.exe file, then you're going to need the DLLs or else it's just going to give you errors. Alright, now that we're done with that, um, I think we're good to go with this. So we can close this. Now all we need to do is set up the project. So now in VS Code, you can see here it's already set up. We already have the cool stuff. Alright, let's create a new folder here called src. And in here, create a new file called main dot cpp not coo cpp all right so we got the cpp file in that's cool now we'll talk about that later next let's create a new folder and call it res res is where you're going to store your images and stuff then fonts this is where you store your fonts pretty obvious let's go ahead and if you want to create a dot a bin folder go ahead uh, but I don't really use a bin folder. Alright, so these are the main files or folders you're going to want. Now let's create a make file and a dot git ignore. Alright, so the dot git ignore, if you don't use GitHub, then it's useless. But the make file, it's really useful. Or use, it, it's got a use, okay. Alright, so this is my make file from one of my projects that I'm currently working on. And I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to go through it. Okay, so let's go ahead and paste it. Now we're going to do a little different stuff here. So I'm going to go through this. So G++ is what MinGW's compiler is. And we're including the include folder. We're also including SDL. Hold on, it's actually include, include slash SDL. Now that's this, and this will basically, this is a linker, it includes stuff. So the G++ compiler will notice that there's all these freaking H files. Um, so yeah, and then we'll also include our header files, because if you want to make custom scripts, then we're going to need the header file. So headers, and that's that. Now, this is a lot lib folder, and this is where you're going to need your lib stuff. So in lib, uh, this stuff is not important. You can just say dash L lib, and then you can keep the rest the same. By the way, you I will leave this entire main dot make file in the description, so this text here. So don't worry, my friends. You're all set. All right, then... This is a dash o file. This is like semi binary. It's really weird. Uh, it's really hard and it's really annoying if you get it wrong. And then we're creating a main.exe file right here. And we are compiling all the, all the CPP files in the source. So all your CPP files have to be in source. If you don't want that, just remove the source part. Okay. Just, just remove the source part. Now we need to link our packages. So mingw32 sdl2 main, sdl2, and sdl2 image. These three are important. This isn't really important, but just keep it in there. All right, save that bad boy, and you're good. Okay, so let's go ahead and finally code uh, some ingi uh, sorry, sdl2 code. So I hope you guys already know C++. So hashtag include and sdl.h. Now you can see here VS Code already detected it. And this is because I have a smart VS code. And I'll show you how. So if you want autocomplete, just search for the C C slash C extension. Um if you think it's crap, look at these downloads boys. 
and just install it. So I'm one of these 23 million people. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Okay, enough blabber. Let's go back to the code. So next, we're going to include uh, IO stream. I can't spell IO stream. Now, we're not going to make any windows or anything. We're just going to print out something. If it prints out, that means we're good to go, bro. All right, let's go ahead and create the main function. So int argc. Now, usually this is in C, I believe. I haven't coded in C before, but usually this is what you do in C. Why are we doing it for SDL and C++? Now, SDL is really weird, and if you don't have these arguments inside your main function, it's just not going to work, guys. And I'm talking about this from prior experience. I had to <laughs> Google search for like an hour. So let's go ahead and create a car pointer, character pointer. That's going to be called argv with brackets. All right. Now, let's go ahead and use our IO stream. So, std colon c out. And we're just going to say sdl works because we want it to work. And std colon and line. And so that we can see our message, let's go ahead and do this sin.get. All right. Now, one other thing which I think is really annoying in sdl is that you have to return zero. So, Usually in C++ you won't do this, but you're gonna get a warning if you don't return zero. All right, so this is a code we need. Now go ahead and uh, let's open this here. And all right, so open up your CMD in here. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna say min gw32 dash make and give your make file and click enter. This is gonna print this out. If you get an error, don't worry. Just read the error, okay? Now we don't have any errors, that means we did okay. If we look here, main.exe, and that means everything worked out. If we double click it, SDL2, okay, SDL works. That's how you set up SDL2, boys. In the next video, we're gonna make a window. This is the first ever episode for this SDL tutorial series. I know that was pretty long, but we did it, guys. I'm proud of you, boys. I'm proud of you. Good job, guys. I'll see you in the next video. If you guys have any you know, questions or stuff like that, or if you just have any errors, please do post them in the comments section below. Maybe give me a subscribe. Uh, join our Discord. It'll be in the link in the description. And, uh... Yeah, that's basically it. Bye!